What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another recall by Data IQ video. Today we're gonna to be talking about data in the healthcare industry and I've been working in healthcare for about eight years, about five years on the more analytical side of things. But even in the last five years, as I've been working on the more technical side of things, I've seen a huge shift as to how all these healthcare companies have been utilizing their data. And so let's jump in and talk about some of the ways that data is being used in the healthcare industry. And we'll start off with number one, which is treatment recommendations. Now I'm doing this one first because I was actually able to work at a company that was working on these treatment recommendations when I was first getting into analytics. And how it would work is a hospital or a company would sign up for our services and they would give us access to all of their EHR information, which includes a lot of patient demographics, including height, weight, age, and a ton more. We we would also have access to all their current or previous diagnoses, as well as the medication they were currently taking or have ever taken. And all of this data was extremely useful for the process that we were about to use. With all of this data that we now had access to, we would run it through this logic that we created that was fairly extensive and it would output a recommendation for the doctors based off all of the information that we had. The recommendations from this output were for the individual patient. And so the patient would come in to see the doctor, the doctor would have these recommendations. And based off all the data that we had, we recommend you take a blood test or check for diabetes or check for cancer. Again, that was one that I personally got to work on for over a year and I thought it was just a fascinating use of data. Number two is medical imaging using data. This one is something that I think is going to get better and better over time and eventually is gonna be standard practice at every Every single hospital across the world. Let's say you hurt your ankle and you go to a doctor and they give you an x-ray and they're like, we don't see anything on this x-ray, just go home, ice it, take it easy and you should be fine. Over the next several years, you have this recurring pain in your ankle and just really never went away. And eventually you go back and you get it checked again and you find that you have all these micro cracks along your ankle that never properly healed. The issue was that the doctor just couldn't detect it with his human eye. It's not that he's a bad doctor, it's just that these are such small cracks, he wasn't able to actually see it. There are several companies out there right now who are using machine learning and medical imaging to detect these issues at a much higher rate. From x-rays to CAT scans to MRIs, these machine learning algorithms are able to use the data in the images to find these diagnoses that doctors may not ever be able to see with the human eye. Of course, a doctor is gonna be there to review the output and make the final say, but this is just an amazing way that data is being used in healthcare right now. Number three is staffing at hospitals. Now, honestly, this may not sound like the most interesting way to use data because a lot of companies do something like this to make sure that their companies are staffed appropriately. But the biggest difference is that if you are understaffed at a warehouse job, you know, extra shipments just aren't made or you fall behind. Whereas if you're understaffed in an ER, that could literally be people who die because of that. By using historical and current data to track patterns in their staffing, departments are able to forecast when they will or will not need extra staffing. Typically, they'll create some type of year over year or month over month analytics and create a dashboard out of that so they can see when they're gonna to need to hire extra staff or when they won't need extra staff at that time. With staffing being one of the biggest expenses for hospitals and healthcare in general, using data like this can save them millions for individual hospitals every single year. And staffing is kind of important for the patients too, because if they are understaffed, that means longer wait times and a longer time to actually get treated for what you came into the hospital for. And that is not to say that this issue is resolved, but there are a lot of great companies that are making really large strides in this area using data in healthcare. Number four is clinical trials. Now I'm gonna read you the definition of a clinical trial because it is just too long to remember, but it is a research study conducted in human beings with the goal of answering specific questions about new therapies, vaccines, or diagnostic procedures, or new ways of using known treatments. And clinical trials are used to determine whether a new drug or treatment is actually safe and effective for a patient to take. There are hundreds of data points that these pharmaceutical companies are actually tracking and weighting against each other to determine the efficacy of these drugs. And that is extremely important because people from all around the world could be taking these drugs for years. So you wanna make sure that the data that you are collecting is both valid and accurate. There are typically four stages in a clinical trial, all the way up to just testing to make sure that the drug is safe, all the way up to the FDA approval. And in order to get that FDA approval, you have to submit all the data from all stages of the clinical trial to the FDA. By the way, if you are interested in breaking into data, you should check out Data IQ. They have several great free learning paths and quick start guides for jobs like machine learning engineer, data scientist, developer, and data analyst all for free on their website. I will leave a link in the description if you wanna go and check that out. Now let's move on to number five, and that is claims data. Probably one of the least sexy parts of healthcare, but surprisingly, maybe one of the most important ones across the board of healthcare as a whole. A claim is what your doctor submits to the insurance company to make sure that they get paid. 
So if you went in for a visit and you got a test done, that doctor doesn't actually get paid right then and there. What a doctor or most likely the assistant has to do is record that data for you and all the other patients that they've seen and submit it for a claim and wait for a reimbursement. There are tens of thousands of codes that they may have to use in order to track this data, including CPT codes, HICPIX codes, and LOINT codes. It's one of the most important cogs in this healthcare machine because it allows the doctor to get paid and to see more patients. Now, those are just the ones that we talked about today, but data is being used in so many other ways in healthcare. And it's honestly really great to see that healthcare is kind of catching up because 10 or 20 years ago, it felt like healthcare was really falling behind in the data world. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out all the other videos by Recall by Data IQ, and I will see you in the next video.